it's a brief video about the new touch manager 2.0 update so i added here the multiplayer support only on the level 7 multiplayer here and added some changes with the debugging and on some levels also and mostly we have right now the touch manager new component mm. it's touch manager 2 so basically all those features from other components we have in one place so we can add the component into our Palnor character and it's more easy work basically and multiplayer ready let's check level 7 how it works right now so we need to press here to add netmod listen server so to have a server and clients and add for example 3 so we will have server and two clients and press window here so here we have server and two clients now in this level showcase we need to swipe to throw a ball with a different color but set color and the swipe direction will be the same for all players in multiplayer when i'm swiping you can see it's yellow color and just forward when i swipe to the right we have it and with the green color also so it works the same with the client And every time we have different colors, so it's spawned randomly in all of the players, and you can play with this. Wow! How to use new touch manager? Uh, to use it, you need to add the blueprint class, so it can be pawn or character. I I'd like to use a character, for example. I will name it PP test. So. Let's add here the touch manager. We have touch manager too. It's a new one. So let's go to the event graph and we need to add inputs first of all here. So let's press input and let's go more down. This one. It can be with the touch, I think. Yeah, here it is, like the same with the touch. So after that, we need to just add a component here and add touch event. So connect it here, press through on press and copy it and paste again to release connect and it should be false because it's release and connect here the target so and after that in the end we need to add only touch indexes to know how many fingers we pressed right now to handle inputs in our new touch manager 2.0 component so now now it works thanks and here we have the some parameters of every section like swipe distance maximum time to make a swipe or not if it's like bigger time so we will not have a swipe or tap drag and pinch rotate some other variables like we can use pinch only or only rotate show debug if it's true or not and on top what we need to use for example only tap or only double tap or we want to have a tap and that double tap events work so it's great system i think and here for example let's add double tap so basically on pressing here on this plus we have variable and we can just print string and add here the bug with the color for example this one and double tap and let's check how it works so we have here uh, already our character so let's add it here and add the auto process player here to zero to select only this player for now for testing and one player because it's testing so when i'm double tapping you can see the message and you can easily right now add your events here 
just pressing and you will have all events all set up in only one component so basically it's the, this new update with some small changes in the level also some optimization and better debug we have now uh, debug with the different colors uh, for example i can i can delete this test i don't need for now but let's play with the default one so uh, i need to add in this character debug yes and here you can see we have different colors on every event like swipe it's only red so drag purple top or double top it's green and you can manage it much better and it works great i think thank you guys for watching if you like this update and my tutorials please press like and subscribe to the channel to motivate me to create more video and content